Sleepover. When I was little, I went to stay with my friend Angel. Hi, Angel. Mummy says, anytime you want to come home, just tell Angel's mum. See you tomorrow. No, I said, I want to stay the whole night at Angel's. I'm sleeping in Angel's room. I put my pyjamas next to Angel's pyjamas. Look what I'm wearing today. Angel showed me my bed. It was very tiny. Angel said it was a magic bed. I can't sleep there. It's a magic bed. Then we went out to play. Angel's toys were different to my toys. Angel showed me how to hula hoop. At tea time, Angel's mummy made me my favourites. Fish fingers! We sat and climb up chairs in the kitchen. Angel's kitchen was different from my kitchen. I liked Angel's kitchen. <laughs> All finished. After tea, we played with Angel's dolls. Angel's dolls were different to my dolls. Ready for bed, said Angel. Angel and me had a bath together. After bath, we cleaned our teeth. Angel's mummy helped me clean my teeth. I liked Angel's mummy. When we went into Angel's room, magic. Ping! My tiny bed was big. I could see Angel in her bed. Angel's mummy kissed me and Angel. Night-night. Night-night. Angel and me chattered. Angel stopped chattering. The room was quiet. I looked at Angel. Angel was asleep. I want my mummy, I heard my voice say. I looked outside. Angel's mummy was watching television. I felt sad. Mummy might miss me. I wanted mummy to kiss me night night. Hey Tig, feeling sad shows how much you love mummy. Mummy will miss you too. But Mummy wants you to have a big adventure. Mummy wants to have the fun of giving you a big, big hug when you come home again. Mummy wants to have the fun of hearing all about your time away. But Tig, you can go home whenever you want. Angel's Mummy won't mind and Mummy won't mind. So do you want to go home? Oh dear, you're not sure, are you? Hmm. So just for now, pop back into bed and count up how many kisses your mummy gives you every day. Then count up how many kisses you give to your mummy every day. Go for it, Tig. Yes, I thought. I won't go home yet. So I counted how many times Mummy kissed me and I. I woke up. It was daytime. I had slept all night at Angel's Angel, house. Angel, wake up. Angel, wake up. Ah, it's only a toy spider. I like staying the night with Angel. I love Willie. We begin. The haircuts. When I was little, my hair grew long. Who's that? I liked my hair long. One day, my mummy took me for a ride on a bus with no roof. On the bus, we saw lots of things. We saw a big crane. <gasps> oh, wow, take look, look. An aeroplane landed on the water. Some things I didn't see. 
I just saw my hair. That night, Mummy brushed my hair. Oh my it was all tangly. You're going to have to get your hair trimmed soon. The next day, Mummy and Daddy took me to see a play. Mummy tied my hair in bunches. You won't be able to see the play, said Mummy. Willie well, came too. There was a funny lady. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, nursing. The funny lady had bunches, just like mine. Do you like my bunches? You do? You've got bunches like mine, haven't you? What's your name? Tig. Tig. That's a lovely name. Well, this little ditty is especially for you. One bunch, two bunch, kiss my cheeks, so one bunch. Funny lady sang a song all about my bunches. I'm happy with my bunches, my bonny, bonny bunches. And when I skip and hop and flounce, my bonny bunches bob and bounce. I'm happy with my bunches, my bonny, bonny bunches. And when I skip and hop and flounce, my bonny bunches bob and bounce. Night, Mummy brushed my bunches away. Once you get a wee trim, you won't have all these tangles at the bottom here, will you? The next day, Mummy took me to the hairdresser. Who's next? Said the hairdresser. You coming over? Have a seat. I jumped into the seat. The hairdresser picked up a big pair of scissors. Uh, no, I want my bunches. I didn't like the scissors. I wanted my bunches. Do you want to come over, Brendan? I didn't want my hair cut. Hey, Tig, those scissors might look a bit scary, but don't worry. Cutting hair doesn't hurt. Snip, snip, snippity snip. Look at Brendan. Brendan doesn't mind having his hair cut. He loves it. Snip, snip, snippity snip. And look at the hairdresser. He knows just how to use the scissors so they're safe. Tig, I know how you feel about your bunches. But having your hair cut doesn't mean you can't have bunches again. They might be a little smaller, that's all. But hey, Having your hair cut means no more hair in your eyes. Having your hair cut means less tangles. Having your hair cut makes you feel all shiny and new. Oh, I'm happy with my hair cut, my happy, happy hair cut. Go for it, Tig. Get your hair cut. You'll love it. Yes, I thought. I want to be all shiny and new. Nothing to worry about. I'll have my hair cut. Snap, snap, snap. No more hair in my eyes. Snap, snap, snap. No more tangles. I'm happy with my hair cut. My happy, happy hair cut. Are you happy with that? Yes. When the hairdresser saw Willy, he wasn't happy. What's that? Only a toy side. Oh. I like having my hair cut. I love Willy. We've been guests since we were late. Supermarkets. When I was little, I went shopping with my mummy to a supermarket. And you'll see and you'll get a really good view. What do you think we should get for Daddy? Willy came too. The supermarket was big. The supermarkets sold everything. Ironing boards. Ironing boards. Toasters. Televisions. Washing machines. We didn't buy a washing machine. Mummy wanted food. I told Mummy where to find things. Carrots. Carrots. A cabbage. Potatoes. Tomatoes. Onions. A melon. A big melon. That's a heavy one. Oh. Apples. Oranges. Bananas. I'll pop them in the back there. 
Grapefruit. Two. Two, yeah, let's get two. And a pineapple. The pink ones. The pink ones. I didn't want to be in a trolley seat. Yeah, yeah, no, but what are you going to do? Tell me what you're going to do. Stay next to you. Stay next to me all the time. Good girl. Mummy said to keep close and hold on to the trolley. Can <laughs> <laughs> you manage? I help Mummy put things into the trolley. Milk. You're so strong. Mummy pushed the trolley. That's lots and lots of toys. I saw a fire engine. The fire engine had a ladder on top. I picked up the fire engine to show Mummy. When I looked, Mummy wasn't there. Tag. I ran down all the shelves and looked round the corner. Mummy wasn't there. Where was Mummy? I looked down some more shelves and some more shelves. No Mummy. I thought Mummy had left me. Mum, where are you? I thought I was all by myself. Then I saw Willie. Hi, I've lost my daughter. We were just in the toy section. Willie hadn't left me. Hey, Tig, Mummy hasn't left you, and Mummy hasn't run away. Mummy will be looking for you right now. Mummy loves you. Mummy will be just as worried as you are. You've just lost each other for a moment, that's all. When you ran up that way, Mummy was just behind you. Yes. But when you turned the corner, Mummy didn't know which way you'd gone. You both keep moving around and missing each other. What a laugh! So the best thing for you to do is stay in one spot, here by the fire engines and me. Mummy will tell the store people and they will find you in no time. So we'll stay here and Mummy will come round the corner any minute. I waited in the one place. <gasps> Tig! And Mummy came round the corner. <laughs> I was so happy to see Mummy. Very much. Willie had a ride. The man was surprised to see Willie. <gasps> I got my toy spider. Right. I love my mummy. I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. The dog. When I was little, my granny got a new dog. I went to visit my granny and her new dog with my daddy. Willie came too. In the park, on the way to granny, we saw lots of dogs. I wanted to play with the dogs. Can we play with the dogs? No, we don't know the dogs. Daddy said no. He said we should leave the dogs we don't know alone. I had fun just watching the dogs. Granny's dog was called Herbie. Hello! You come and see. I asked to see Herbie. It's Herbie. He's in the kitchen having breakfast. Granny said we should leave Herbie alone when he was eating. We just watch. Daddy was looking in a cupboard. Daddy was trying to find a dog bed for Herbie to sleep in. Daddy found his old drum set. I made lots of noise on Daddy's drums. Then I heard another noise. Oh, 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 oh. Shh, Herbie doesn't like the noise. Herbie was barking in a rage. I didn't like Herbie barking. Daddy found his old space hopper. The hopper was fun. I bounced around the garden. Come on, Herbie. Let's see what's happening. Come on. I bounced up to Herbie. 
Herbie barked. Herbie looks scary. I didn't like Herbie. Listen, Tig, I think I'd better take him back inside. He's getting too excited. Granny took Herbie back inside. Here's one bed for Herbie. Daddy found a bed for Herbie. Do you want to come for a walk with Herbie? No. No, I said. I didn't like dogs. OK. Hey, Tig, you don't like Herbie because you don't know Herbie. Ruff. You need to get to know Herbie in just the same way Herbie needs to get to know you. Ruff. So what does Herbie like and what does Herbie not like? Granny says Herbie likes to eat in peace. Ruff. When you did your drumming, you found out that Herbie doesn't like loud bangs. When you bounced up to Herbie on the space hopper, you found out that Herbie gets frightened easily. He's like most dogs. And Herbie's barking, ruff, is his way of telling you what he's feeling. Ruff, ruff, woof, woof. So when you meet Herbie again, be very quiet and still. Don't touch Herbie until Granny says you can. That way, you'll get to know Herbie. Yes, I thought. I want to get to know Herbie. I want to like Herbie. Uh, can I see Herbie? Yeah, come on. I'll be very quiet. What a great girl. Granny was getting Herbie ready for his walk. I was very quiet and still. That's a good girl. Granny said I could stroke Herbie gently. That's it. Now, do you want to take him out? Take Herbie to the park. We took Herbie to the park. I like getting to know Herbie. Oh, got Herbie tag. Here he goes. Woo. Come and give us the double. Come and give us it. Oh, I'm yeah. not sure if he likes my toy spider yet. It's only my toy spider. I like Herbie. And I love Willy. We've been guessing to Willy. Bus ride. When I was little, my daddy took me to fly my kite. Is that the bus? Wait for the door to open. We went on a bus. The bus ride was fun. Can we get a two to the park, please? Daddy gave me the ticket to hold. Thank you. Well, we came through. We sat on a chair. And Willie looked out of the window. When we got to a hilly bit, Daddy pressed the bell and the bus stopped. Bye bye. Thank you. Daddy said thank you. That's a good girl. What a good girl you are, too. I said thank you and bye bye. Whoosh! Up on the hill, Daddy and me flew my kite. He flew my kite in lots of different ways. Sometimes I ran, sometimes Daddy ran, sometimes we both ran. After flying the kite, I was tired. We waited for the bus home. When the bus arrived, a man took so long I ran in front of him. Tig said, Daddy, wait your turn. A uh, two, please. I took the ticket. Tig said, Daddy, don't snatch. Sorry. Shh, said Daddy. Sit down, said Daddy. No feet on the seat. Daddy was getting really grumpy. A lady kept staring at me. I didn't like the lady staring at me. Tig, don't be so rude. I was tired and bored. Tig. Daddy was grumpy. Just in front of me was the bus bell. Hmm, I thought. Tig, did you press the bell? Tig, no! Said Daddy. Daddy was cross. We rang the bell. It, it was ours. We're, we're just coming. Come on, we're not going to have to go off the bus now. Get Willie. 
Sorry, driver. Thank you, said Daddy, the driver. We're going to have to walk home. But I'm tired. Well, we'll have to wait for the next bus, OK? Horrid, Daddy. Just sit on that. Put your wee bottom on that, OK? OK. I was tired. Hey, Tig, I know you feel tired, but Daddy's not horrid. Daddy's tired too. But when Daddy's tired, he still says thank you to the bus driver. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't throw his bus ticket all over the bus. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't make a face to strangers. Just because you're tired doesn't mean you stop caring. When you feel tired, you can still be nice to people and make sure that whatever you do doesn't upset them. Ting! Hey and Tig, you press the bus bell, not Daddy. And that's why you're waiting for another bus. Daddy cares about you and you care about Daddy. So tell him. Go for it, Tig. Yes, I thought. I love my daddy. I said sorry to daddy. Sorry, dad. Oh, thank you, Tig. That's OK. Open, <laughs> Come on, Tig. When the next bus came, I said thank you to the bus driver. Thank you. Oh, thanks, driver. When a lady smiled at me, I smiled at her. I showed her Willy. It's only a toy spider. I like smiles. I like being me. I love Willy. We've been guests to Willy. The hospital. When I was little, my daddy hurt himself and went to hospital. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Mummy went to see daddy. So I played with Angel. Well, he came too. Angel and me played dressing up. I put on a crown. Angel wheeled me around in my carriage. At night time, Daddy wasn't better. I slept in Mummy's bed. I wanted to see my Daddy. Me when Daddy pulled me up. I like the picture of Daddy lifting me up to touch the sky. Mummy took me to see Daddy in the hospital. What's that, Mummy? That's an ambulance. I like the hospital. The hospital was big. The hospital was busy. We squirted smelly stuff on our hands. Mummy said that in the hospital, everything had to be clean. Um, yeah. Whoa! Oh, don't forget, Willie. There were lots of busy people. It was nearly lunchtime, but people were still in bed. What are those people doing, Mummy? They're all getting better. Mummy said the people were getting better. They didn't look very better to me. Some people were wheeled around in their beds, looking for their pajamas, I thought. Daddy had a special room he lived in. Oh, hi. We're done now, so you can go in and see him. I wanted to see Daddy. I looked in the door. There was a man in the bed with a towel on his head. Hi there, Tig. He looks like a puppet Come with on. strings. Go and say hello to Daddy, Tig. No, I said. That's not my Daddy. Hey, Tig. Hospitals are funny places, all topsy-turvy. They can make you feel all topsy-turvy too. Daddy might not look like Daddy, but Daddy is still Daddy. Daddy looks different, that's all. Daddy hurt his leg, so he's wearing a plaster on his leg to make it better. But he's still Daddy. 
Daddy hurt his head, so he's wearing a bandage to make his head better. But he's still Daddy. Whee! Daddy looks like a puppet with tubes and things. Diddly doo doo, diddly doo. <laughs> but they are all there to make him better. You look different at angels when you dressed up like a king. Daddy's dressed up like a king too. So hey Tig, have fun with Daddy now he's a king with his crown and his own royal carriage. Whee! And then one day Daddy will be all better and lift you up to touch the sky again. Yes, I thought. I want to see my daddy with his white bandage crown and his puppet strings. Right. I'll tell you the funny story about what happened. Daddy told me the funny story of why he was in the hospital. <laughs> he tripped over running for a bus. And Silly daddy hasn't tied his laces. The blue nurse came in and found Willie on the bed. <laughs> it's only a toy spider. <laughs> <laughs> I like hospitals. I love my daddy. And I love Willy. We've been since we were Two things. When I was little, I went to buy some clothes with my mummy. Willy came too. I can see some lovely dresses in here. Mummy said I needed a new dress and a new pair of shoes. At the dress shop, there were lots of dresses to choose from. I chose a sparkly dress. Mummy said it was very pretty for a party. But it's more pretty for a party. Mummy said I need a dress for every day to play in. Mummy showed me a red dress with pockets. I tried my new red dress. Yes, I said. I liked my new red dress. I liked choosing. The next shop that we went to had a lift made of glass. I can see some pretty dresses. It was like flying. At the top of the lift we met Daddy. Hi Tig, a lovely new dress. Daddy liked my new dress. Okay then, do a fashion show. Uh, huh. Daddy bought new clothes too. Yes. You were quick choosing, said Mummy. You were very quick choosing all of that. Yeah, the man in the shop helped me. It was easy. Daddy said the man in the shop helped him choose. Let's go get the shoes. See you later. Bye. Here we are. Ooh, look at At this. the shoe shop, they had lots of shoes. Hi there. Hi. I liked all of the shoes. So if you want to pop your foot in. The lady had a special measuring machine for feet. The lady said my feet were growing. I couldn't see them growing. The lady said, what colour shoes do you like? Blue, I said. Then I saw a red shoe. I want the red shoe, I said. I tried in the red shoe. So they both fit, but what ones do you like? Which shoe do you like, said the lady. Red and blue. You have to choose one colour shoe or the other. I wanted both shoes. One red, one blue. Mummy said, why don't you choose blue shoes to go with your new red dress? Well, why don't you have a wee think? Both, I said. Hey, Tig, choosing can be hard. Do I have this one or do I have that one? Or do I have both? Hmm. One blue shoe and one red shoe looks fun. But when you buy shoes, you buy them in pairs. Two shoes together. Two shoes that match. Two shoes the same colour. So you have to choose. Two blue shoes or two red shoes. Hmm. Hey, Tig. It's difficult, isn't it? Sometimes when you're choosing, you need a bit of help. 
Your daddy had the man in the shop to help him choose. But you have your mummy to help you choose. Mummy said blue shoes will look good with your red dress. Well, you like blue and red together, so why not choose the blue shoes for your red dress? Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I like blue and red together. I'll choose the blue shoes to go with my red dress. Good choice. The lady put my old shoes in a box. When the lady saw Willy, she nearly dropped the box. It's already a toy spider. Trying really hard. On my way home, I played no stepping on the pavement cracks in my new blue shoes. I love Willy. The beard. When I was little, I went to play with my friend Belle. Hello, how are you? Willie came too. Belle's house was big. There were lots and lots of rooms. We went exploring. There was a staircase to go up and down. There was a garden too. We saw Belle's big sister, Ruby. Ruby jumped on the trampoline. Belle showed me lots of places to hide and jump out. Then we played hide and jump out. Belle had a little brother called Finny. I played cards with Finny. Belle had mummy called Anne. Anne was kind. She gave us a drink and a biscuit. <coughs> Belle had a big sister called Lottie. Lottie had funny clothes. Some fancy shoes. Me and Belle dressed up. Are you trying on my clothes? Lottie laughed. <laughs> Mummy came to take me home. No, I said. No. And I ran away with Belle and Willie to hide. And said to Mummy I could stay for lunch. Okay, have all the time. Bye. Bye. Hooray! Yay! I like being at Belle's house. The boys are not always the pink. Look at this, boys and girls. History's never always the way you think it's going to be. At lunchtime, Anne made an apple pie. Belle said apple pie was her favourite. You do? I said apple pie was my favourite too. Oh dear, said Anne. Daddy's going to miss the apple pie. Tell me you think it's nice. Oh, I thought. I didn't know Daddy was coming to lunch. Daddy's home. Hi guys. Hello, Tink. A man came and sat at the table. The man didn't look like a daddy. The man had hair all over his face. Ooh, apple pie. Special treat because Tink's here. Mm. The man looked like a bear. I didn't like Belle's daddy. I didn't like my apple pie. I wanted to go home. Hey, Tink, not all daddies look like your daddy. This daddy looks different. This daddy has a beard. This daddy's not fierce, he's just a bit hairy like a big friendly teddy bear. He doesn't look like a friendly teddy bear. Then just imagine he is a big friendly teddy bear. Look at him. Blink. And ting! He's a big friendly teddy bear. I looked, blinked and ting! Belle's daddy was a big friendly teddy. Then I thought, how could Belle's daddy eat his apple pie if he's only a teddy? Poor Belle's daddy. So I looked, blinked, and ting! Hooray! The teddy was Belle's daddy again. There you see, Tig. Belle's daddy is just like a big, friendly teddy bear. So eat up your apple pie. No more worries. 
think it's really, really nice. After lunch, when Belle Daddy saw Willy, ah. he was scared. It's only a toy spider. Yeah, a toy spider. When Mummy collected me, I told her all about Belle's dad having a beard. I like going to play with Belle. I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Party. When I was little, I went to a party with my mummy and daddy. Happy birthday, Timmy. <gasps> Don't forget Willy. Willy came too. The party was for Timmy's birthday. My friend Angel was there too. And there were lots of children. The party was in a big room. There was a funny man called Josh. Good afternoon, boys and girls. My name's Josh and I... Josh had a flower that squirted water. We're going to do the hokey cokey. Josh showed us how to do the hokey cokey. We all joined in. You do the hokey cokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. Pin the tail on the donkey. Pin the tail on the donkey. And Mummy tied the scarf so we couldn't see. I pinned the tail on the donkey's nose. Everybody laughed. It was funny. A big boy was clever. He pinned the tail just where it should be. Well done! Josh had a hooty horn. OK, musical chairs. Let's go. Go! We played musical chairs. What? What? On you go. Oh, oh my goodness! There we go! Oh, 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 hard luck. Touchy, touchy. Got a winner! Well, a big boy won. Time for juggling. Josh juggled sweetie packets. Oh. I like Josh. When he draw one, he gave the packet to me. Daddy made a big parcel for past the parcel. When the music stops, you open the parcel up. When the music stopped, the parcel stopped and was unwrapped. The parcel never stopped at me. I never won any presents. Oh, Sophie! I didn't like the party. I didn't like never winning. Right, everybody, time for birthday cake. Come on. I didn't go for tea. Come on, Teg. You're going to miss the birthday tea. Come on. Hey, Teg, look at this. Where will the button go? Where's the button gone? Dear. Yeah! Well done, Tig. Winning feels good. That's why it's fun to win. But, Tig, in party games there's often only one winner. So that means you lose more times than you win. Not everyone can win all the time. It's fun that others win too, and fun just playing the game. Angel hasn't won, but she's having fun. Josh hasn't won, but he's having fun. You haven't won, but you had fun pinning the towel on the donkey's nose. Hey, Tig, parties are full of surprises. Join in and find the next fun surprise. I wanted more surprises and ran for tea. <laughs> I helped Timmy blow out his candles. I saw Josh Willy. It's only a toy spider. He's only my toy spider, I said. I like parties. I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Did you like it? He 
eating new foods. When I was little, my daddy had a birthday. I gave daddy a birthday cake hat. It's my birthday! Daddy looked funny. We had a surprise. Mummy took us to our restaurant. Willie came too. Inside the restaurant, there were lots and lots of tables. Mummy told Daddy to take his hat off. A grumpy man came along and told us to sit down. Menu for you. Mummy said the grumpy man was a waiter. Daddy was excited and did funny things. Take it. <laughs> stop it, just stop it, sit up and behave. Mummy told him to behave and sit up straight. So, ready to order? I wanted fish fingers. Fish fingers. <laughs> there were no fish fingers. Yes. I think I might have the spaghetti. Daddy said I might like spaghetti. You too? OK, thank you. Thank you. I saw a little boy. The little boy disappeared. I looked under the tables and saw the little boy crawling towards me. Crash! The grumpy waiter tripped. You shouldn't crawl around in restaurants, said Mummy. Mummy gave me a colouring book to colour in. The grumpy waiter landed our spaghetti plates on the table like aeroplanes. Then he sprinkled pepper with a giant pepper pot. Let's get stuck in. I looked at the spaghetti. It was all long and wriggly with green and black bits. Mum said just to try a little bit. Let's try a bit. I ate a black bit. Yuck! Like you ate an olive, said Daddy. I love olives. Daddy took away all the olives. Take this one. Oh, I got it. Try another bit, said Mummy. I wanted fish fingers. Hey, Tig. Not liking things is okay. So now you know what you don't like. Yuck. Find out what you do like. Mmm. I like spaghetti because it's fun and wriggly and yum in my tum. <laughs> hey, Tig, your dad's got rid of the yucky taste, so have another go. Or I'll eat it all up for you. Mmm. Go for it, Tig. Tuck in. So I thought, I'll have another go. Oh, look at that big bit. <laughs> That's brilliant. What a good girl. Oh, well, you're loving it, aren't you? When I finished, the grumpy waiter took my plate away. That's <laughs> only a toy spider. Then the waiter came back. Hold the seat. With Daddy's birthday pudding. Look at that. This is the best birthday cake I've ever had. I really like it. <laughs> I like new food. You like that? So does Willie. Yeah, he likes it. Mm, he loved it. <laughs> I love Willie. We've been guests since we were late. Splash! When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me swimming at the swimming pool. Right, let's go and get changed. I know, why don't I take Willie? Because we don't want him to get all wet, do we? Mummy took Willie to watch. Daddy took me into our big room. Daddy helped me put on my swimming costume. Come on, take. Let's go to the pool. 
Who's excited? What's that? You go and have a shower. We had to have a shower. The shower was like the rain. I squealed. The pool was very, very big. There was lots of water. The water went on forever and ever and nearly out of the window. Willie and Mummy sat in chairs. Mummy waved. I waved to Mummy. Say hi, Willie. A man splashed up and down the pool like a big sea lion. I held Daddy's hand. We saw some children. The children were splashing. Daddy put on my armbands. A lady splashed with her legs. I didn't like the splashing. I want to go and sit on the chairs with Mummy. I don't want to go swimming. Mummy said, why don't I take Teg to the little pool? Mummy took me to the little pool. Wooly came to. Here you go, Teg, look. There, Teg. Why don't you have a splash around? I don't like splashing, I said. Hey, Teg, a swimming pool might seem big and strange and full of sudden splashes, but a swimming pool is just like a big, big bath. You like a bath, don't you? So make it like bath time. You like playing boats in the bath, don't you, Tig? So have fun with this boat. There she blows! Hey, Tig, now you can kneel in the water. It's much more fun. Here's another swimming game. Find the frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Water in your mouth, spit it out. Well done, Tig, you found the frog. Looks like you got your face wet too. Way! Bounce the ball up and down as hard as you can and see how many splashes you can make. So now you know, water and splashing is fun. So go for it, Tig. Have a splash with Daddy in the big pool. Yes, I thought. I like the splashing. I wanted to swim in the big pool with Daddy. Oh. I like the big pool. I like the splashing. I like the water all over my face. The big sea lion man saw Willy. <laughs> it's only my toy spider, I said. I love splashes. I love swimming. I love Willy. First day, when I was little, I loved going to my nursery school. Willie really liked my nursery school too. At my nursery school, I had my own place to put my coat. My nursery teacher is called Claire. I like Claire. Sometimes I play by myself. Sometimes I play with the other children. Sometimes I'm so busy playing that I have to give Willie to my teacher, Claire. Claire always puts Willie somewhere where he can watch me playing on the messy table. Doing my writing. Playing with the sand. Having fun with water. 
One day, a new little boy came to my nursery. Everybody, this is Rufus. Claire told us the new boy's name was Rufus. Rufus didn't seem very happy. Rufus didn't want to play. Claire gave Rufus some toys. Rufus just looked. When we went out to play, Rufus stayed inside. At story time, Rufus sat by himself. He didn't want to sit with me. There once was a fluffy yellow chick called Charlie. Charlie. Claire told us the story of Charlie Chick. Charlie loved his mummy, and he loved cuddling up underneath her warm, feathery tummy. I like the bit when Charlie Chick is frightened of the outside world. Till he hears the chirps of the other chicks. We all chirp like Charlie. Rufus seems sad. Rufus made me sad. I'm cross too. What was wrong with Rufus? Hey Tig, there's nothing wrong with Rufus. He doesn't mean to make you sad and cross. Rufus feels just like Charlie Chick. Chip, chip. Rufus has left the nice warm feathers of his home and come out to a new strange place. Now you know all the other children, but Rufus doesn't. You know the games, but Rufus doesn't. You know Miss Claire, but Rufus doesn't. Rufus feels lonely and Rufus feels sad. When you first came to nursery school, you had me. So if Rufus had me to help him for his first day, maybe he'd feel happier. Hey Tig, we'll make you feel happier too. Go for it. Yes, I thought. I'll give Rufus Willy for the day. Rufus likes Willy. And we went outside to play together. The next day, Rufus came to nursery with a teddy called Ed. Rufus was happy with Ed. When Ed saw Willy, he was scared. It's only my toy spider, I said. Rufus likes nursery school now. I love Willy! Hair wash day. One day, when I was little, my daddy came home early from work. Had a good day. It was nearly bath time, but Mummy said me and Daddy could play a little. OK, you two, there's time for a quick Come game before bath time. Is Willie going to play as well? Hide and seek, hide and seek, I said. Okay, right. Willie played too. Okay. Daddy okay. head okay. first. No peeping, he said. One, I counted to ten. But I couldn't oh. quite stop peeping. Nine, ten, brush it up. Here I go. I found Daddy behind the sofa. <laughs> Willie's turn to hide, I said. Right, so six, seven. No eight, peeping. Nine, ten. Willie was hiding under a cushion. Let's see, is he behind there? Daddy found Willie. There you are. Now it is going to be your turn to hide. And me and Wooly are going to both close our eyes and we'll count to ten, OK? You ready? No peeking, Wooly. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Daddy and Wooly open their eyes. The Wendy house. Are you in there, Tig? They look for a long, long time. Anyone here? No. Bath's run. We'll just be a minute. Did you get the shampoo? Shampoo? I like to have my bath, but I hated having my hair washed. 
I crept into my little house and hid some more. There you go. Don't be too long. Tig! I think she's behind this curtain. Daddy couldn't find me. Well, at least she's not there. I didn't want my hair washed. I think she might be in our bedroom. Mummy and Daddy looked all around the house for me. Where's Tig? Well, she's not in the living room. Oh dear. Found you, Tig. No wonder we couldn't find you. You moved hiding places. No hair wash. So that's it. You don't want your hair washed. Stingy. So close your eyes like in hide and seek. Eyes tight shut. No peeping, so nothing will get in your eyes. Then count to ten. One rubber dubber, two rubber dubber, three rubber dubber, four rubber dubber, five rubber dubber, six rubber dubber, seven rubber dubber, eight rubber dubber, nine rubber dubber, ten rubber dubber, ping! All done. No more stings. <laughs> hey, Tig, go get your hair scrumpled. <laughs> Yeah, Rubber Dubba. I'm here, I shouted. I couldn't find you, said Daddy. Come on before the bath gets cold. Why should we go to wash Willie's hair as well? That's time, said Mum. Mummy washed my hair. I closed my eyes tight. Cold, like in hide and seek. I think it's too hot. One rubber dubber, two rubber dubber, three rubber dubber, four rubber dubber, five rubber dubber, six rubber dubber, seven rubber dubber, eight rubber dubber, nine rubber dubber, ten rubber dubber, and swish! When my hair was washed, there was a big splash, and Mummy jumped. Don't worry, Mummy. Mummy dried my hair. Daddy dried Willie. I like having my hair washed. It's so wet. Oh. So does Willie. I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. Timmy's Monsters. When I was little, my friend Timmy came to play. Timmy can draw monsters. I can draw monsters too, but they're not as scary as Timmy's monsters. Timmy can roar like a monster. Roar! <laughs> I can roar like a monster too. <sighs> I like monsters. I like Timmy's monsters. Boggy monsters. Hairy monsters. Blue monsters. <laughs> That's scary. And lots of red monsters. And stomping and roaring. I think if the monsters were a little quieter, they might have some juice. I love monsters. When it was time for Timmy to go home, he gave me lots of his monsters. Thank you, Timmy. I love Timmy's monsters. And night, night time. At night time, I put Timmy's monsters under my bed. At night, the monsters roared. Ra, ra, ra. All right. The monsters woke me up. Oh, there are no monsters. They're just pictures. Look. Mummy said the monsters were just pictures. No more monsters. <laughs> Mummy took Timmy's monsters away. Will they want to be cuddle? Good girl. And left the light on. I cuddled Willy. The next day I wanted to play monsters. But Mummy had thrown the monsters in the bin. I asked Mummy for my monsters. 
Mommy, can I get my monsters? No, Tig, they're too noisy. Please. Mommy said the monsters were too noisy. They're just pictures, I said. Mummy said, OK. But no more roaring tonight in bed. I showed Willie my monsters. I didn't think Willie liked my monsters. No, Tig, I just don't like monsters at night. They wake me up. They wake us all up. Hmm. So, Tig, why don't we make your monsters just daytime monsters? Yeah! <laughs> there, one daytime monster. Now, at night, all the monsters need to go to bed. So we make the monster a nice comfy bed. <laughs> One comfy bed and one monster asleep. Night, night, monster. Sleep well. Night time came and all the monsters were put to bed. Night, night, monsters. Look. Night, night, monsters. There they are, all going to bed, all tucked up, ready to sleep. Mummy was about to sit on the bed when she nearly sat on Wooly. It gave her a surprise. What was that? <laughs> I love my toy spider. You're a toy spider. Night, night, Mummy. Night, night, Wooly. That night we all slept happily. I like my daytime monsters. I love Wooly. Christmas all over again. And I love Wooly. I love Wooly and Wooly loves me. We've been together since we were wee.